We now present a motion from Representative Chaz Norminski from Blue True. You have the floor. My good companions, we are all aware of the work done by SAPAC and CAPS. Indeed, their work could be said to rival our own. You go too far, Norminski. Perhaps, but all the same, they are one of the groups we most heavily supported in our campaign. Hear, 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 hear. So I propose an increase in funding to both SAPAC and CAPS of one billion dollars. One billion? Absurd. True Blue considers that a modest sum. During my campaign, I spammed SAPAC's Facebook page with offers of up to three billion. Did I say one billion? I must have misspoke. Blue True proposes an increase in funding of five billion to both SAPAC and CAPS. Let's see them question our wokeness then. Ha ha! You dare suggest our wokeness has been questioned. I personally donated two dollars to CAPS just last semester. And I bought a donut from them. This is ridiculous! Preposterous! Phenomenally ridiculous! Order! Statesman Montgomery MacDonald McMitchell III, you have the floor. Let us not forget the actions of my great grandfather, who sat in this very assembly room and passed the Memorandum of 85, decree that an extra water fountain shall be installed on the third floor of Mason Hall. <laughs> my grandfather knew not to push too hard. If we install the water fountain on every third floor of every building, why? there'd simply be no more water to go around. A valid point. Yes, quite reasonable. If we allot these five billion dollars, what other groups will complain that we did not help them? It is my belief that if we cannot help everyone, it is better to help no one. Montgomery speaks the truth. Are we agreed? Better to do nothing than be accused of doing too little. Hear, 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 hear. So motioned. <laughs>